Here delay betting on the turn. If the diamonds break, I think I can bluff the river against like ace-10 diamonds and all these kind of fans. Uh, yep. Important pot. I go a bit bigger to gain some 40 wins like pocket eights maybe that floated or ace four, but we just have a mandatory bluff. Let's Interesting spot in the 10k. If he checks, I might bet. Yeah, I'm gonna bet. My hand just has so much equity against the slow plays, like if he has kings or queens, right? But he's gonna be c-betting sevens and eights quite often here. So if he bet turn, he's in an orbit spot and we have an easy call here. We even I had against his ace jacks and ace tens, but he bets three ways. So I think his range is pretty strong. Um, if he bets again, I might jam this, to be honest. I think he might check some sets at some point. I, I think he's checking queens. Kings might check. So he's very going to hit ace king and aces. That goes for three streets. I think I'm only afraid of king queen, to be honest. He still has ace jacks and ace sense that we fought out, and I think he can bet four aces, or like ace king. And I think we have a reasonable hand to bluff with. He shouldn't be bluffing with ace and clubs, so it's good to have ace and clubs. Yep. And you also, you do not have so much value, but you also don't have so much bluff. But if you have some of these hands that are okay to jam, it's good because most of them are gonna have trips. So of course I want to, uh, you know, that people see that I can bluff these. That's an interesting board. I think I'm gonna start if he checks again. Also the great, he three bets. So I wanna choose a size. Uh, I think that's fine. We get a bit of value from like Ace King. Um, he shouldn't be three betting a lot of. Uh, this is interesting. Question is, can he forward an over pair? I mean, we really have very few bluffs here. So I think I'm gonna bluff this as well. I have Jack tens, eight sevens, nines. Any Jack? I mean, King Queen off. I'm folding pre. It's like maybe Ace Queen, right? Ace King. I'm jamming. He was tanking. Like, I mean, you have to fold an overpair here. What are you going to do? <laughs> Not sure. I mean, it, if I show the six and diamonds, it has to be pocket sixes, right? Six, seven diamonds has a flash. Maybe fives and sixes. I have fives and sixes that I turn into bluff, but then it might not, it might still not be enough. I think I have to turn ace queen off in a bluff, um, which is better than, than sixes because sixes has shot on value against kings. So. I have all the boats, all the straights. I can probably value by trips because he's three bets from the big blind. He's not having 10x hands apart from 10s. He's calling Jack 10 and all of these kind of hands. So just like a really, really fucked up spot for him. <laughs> of course, they don't have the ability to read the hand properly. <laughs> so that's why they're fish on low stakes. And you need to identify those spots to stay away from not bluffing these. And there are plenty of spots. And if you really want to start crushing low stakes, Take our free five-day course, and I'm teaching you exactly that. When to bluff, when not to bluff. Jesus, can't be that difficult. I I can still get away from this hand if I have to. If he jams, for example, we have an easy forward, but I mean, with 42k in the middle, I'm not folding. Um, Ace King off here, just unfortunate cooler, but nothing you can do. Good luck. Hold Rino Marino. Oh, nice. Uh, we have starting stack, so we have uh, starting bounty and more than starting stack now, so we have lots of Ford equity here. A little bit over 20 bigs, very nice hand to reshuffle. Well, but he has a hand. It's unfortunate. Maybe let's just suck him out. Oh, now the diamond only life. Oh, and the king for split. Let's go. On his button jams, we have a call. I think this guy will open heaps. I think as an adjustment, I will also re jam this. I mean, he waked up with ace queen, but just. It's just such a good profitable region. It sucks if he wakes up with a hand, but you know, fuck it. 8.5k. 
what the fuck this guy is waking up with wow we're ahead not anymore i mean it's probably fine with the bounty that's actually a good card for us come we did it once we can do it again let's go <laughs> that's great yeah, I mean, we have so many pairs and maybe some Queen Jack. Like, he does so well against our range. It looks a bit punty because we jammed for quite a bit and he calls King Jack, but... Uh, we keep calling and we said against King Jack, so that's pretty good. Don't think raising makes a lot of sense because if he has on King Jack, Jack 9, we fold out worse, which are very bad equity. Uh, this is actually bad river. <laughs> yes, loads of King Queens. I'm actually thinking of dog jamming and just accepting my fate that we will run into some boats, but he also gonna have Ace Queens, Ace Jacks that are all gonna be checking back. I mean, I'm not check folding, right? But I just don't think if he jams, I think we'll always beat. And he cannot have bluffs. But if I jam, like I can, I can still get cards from hands. He, can, he just can't forward. I think I'm just gonna jam this. It looks stupid, but I think it looks stupid, but I think that's the play. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. I don't think he jams. I don't think he jams ace queen on the river, or he shouldn't. I mean, what what are you accomplishing? <laughs> but like this just like looks so stupid. Where people are like, oh, he's trying to get me off something. Like I mean, again another spot. I don't bluff there. <laughs> what am I supposed to bluff? King Jack? Get him trying to get him off trips? Nobody's pulling trips there. So I play this spot like a fish. You know, I have it. I don't jam. Can more is quite aggressive in these spots. 35k in the middle, I mean, we call at least. Could also see myself jamming. Question is if we check jam, I think yes, because he will have bluffs with ace jack offs. His broadways do not, shouldn't contain lots of 10x as bluffs, should be like king jack off, king queen off, these kind of hands, which still have quite some equity. Um, and we get him off ace king if we have to. I wanna check raise. Maybe also sizing where I don't mind ace king floats and then we jam him off this equity on the turn. And you can still have maybe like some, yeah, King Jack and clubs. All right, it's a big one. What? That's why I said he's. A I was considering jamming pre, but the thing is, you just get it in against all the nut flush draws. I'm not sure. I I will have bluffs, of course. I I think. I mean, it's very high variance, you know, it's like, I know his range is wide, like I can fuck around, you know. It looks punty at first, but it can become good quite fast. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Oh, wow. Can you imagine him sometimes jamming nines or tens? His, his flag range is pretty strong here on ICM. I think he's considering jamming or falling. He's at like 80k in the middle. <sighs> wow. I have, how do you fucking play these spots, man? Uh, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. I guess I just jam. I mean, he's not tanking with 10s or 9s, right? I'm just I'm gonna jam, protect my hand. 100 carry in the middle. He snaps. Fucking hell. Uh, what? What? All right, I actually thought this would be a wreck, but... <laughs> All right. I mean, if he has Queen Jack off, he has so much more, right? So I guess it's fine. I mean, that's just absolutely ins insane to call Queen Jack off there, but it is what it is. Sometimes you get cool out. I mean, the thing is he's gonna have Queen Tens, King Jacks, you know, just we want to make it as expensive as possible. I always stay good in the mix. We can come back. We can come back.
I also think if he has a king, he's not folding, and then we get maximum value against his king accents, which is also pretty good. Ooh, look at that, small sizing. We go three streets. Especially with the jack and clubs, just makes it um, less likely as a... Uh, okay, this this is a river we're gonna check because now boats improve. Um, that's rough. That's that's a real, also a really fucked up spot. But again, he needs to call. He's not gonna have the off -seated. He's not gonna have queen five off. He's not raising two pairs because just we have straights. If he has jack eight, it would just be a disaster. So I'm gonna maybe maybe half more. Well, yeah. We get, we get absolutely fucked right now. <laughs> Nothing we can do there. Lost the minimum. Ice is in the 10k. We just keep betting. In case he floated like queen jack, queen 10, just think. Put a 9x, continue calling. I think I'm definitely gonna value bet here. Fucking hell. Jack 10, 7, 8, Jack 10, 10, 8. Lots of plus possible. I think I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call this. It's actually easy to find a lot of bluffs here. 10 8, 10 9, Jack 9, like a lot of 9x. Yeah. My Jack 10, he has it. Nothing we can do, I think. I think Aces, we just can't bet forward there. Um, also, don't think necessarily people value jam two pairs there. This is one of like these bubbles where it's going your way, you know? It's just like it's so easy to <laughs> get very. Like have high expectations, which you shouldn't. Um, this spot I'm raising a sizing where I also want to have hands where he wants to regen, but also th maybe three bet against us. Oh, that would be huge. Oh, unfortunate. He has all 6k bounty. <laughs> Queen of hearts. Oh. <clears throat> ah, don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna get your bounty later. Oh my god, this guy overbet jams 100. If he has aces, he has aces, I don't care. What? What the fuck just happened? He just sends 150 big blinds into an 8 big blind pot. Maybe he misclicked. That it could can easily happen. I also already open raised 100 big blinds. Just unlucky that we have a set. I mean, I would have folded ace 10 off. Like. I would have thought it maybe even two pair. You know, it makes sense. Just jam your sets. Hope he calls two pair with that amount of chips. I mean, I probably wouldn't fall a two pair, but I would have thought ace queen. I don't think I would have called. What? I think I'm going to call this. I don't think I'm going to fall it here. This just looks like a draw. I don't think he's raising jack 10, queen jack preflop. He's never having 10-9 here. He can have all the flush draws. Like He can have random 9 dues and spades that we do very, very well against. Not like mega crushing, but if you have queens, you bet 24k and jam to into safe turns. Or maybe I'm off. Is he jamming aces here? Interesting spot. Okay, let's think it really through here. Yeah, okay, I thought. I think it's easier to rip I think he can check back a good draw. Oh, yeah, whatever. Let's let it go. That's a nice hand to reshraft. 20 bigs. <clears throat> oh. Whoa, only the seven. Uh, and the jack now. All right, GG. GG. 
Big party in the Sunday storm. Uh, open race call, call, call. He dongs, he calls, we race. Now we bet again. And before you want to check back here. You can have like ace five, ace nine, whatever. I mean, we have a set. We bet three streets for value. He fled from the small blind, so it's only seven eight suited. Is he jamming fives on the river? Ace nine? He can have ace nine, right? I mean, it's Sunday Storm. This guy plays 80 40. Holy fucking shit. You must be shitting me. And the chat bros now. Ah, you see, you should have checked back. Huh? Seven eight. I mean, he raises earlier, no? I mean, if he has 7 8, he has 7 8. I'm done. I don't think I'm going to fold here. No. He got 7 8 off from the small blind. <laughs> ah, what a board. What a board. It is what it is. Uh, 8, I think we just want to rip it in here. Ripperino. Flip. Not anymore. You love to see that flop again. So this spot is interesting. Like it's either jam or race, right? So now I'm gonna look at the players. I think they can re-jam. These a lot of these players are capable of doing that. So I'm gonna race call this. The money goes in anyway. So if I jam, someone has ace queen is gonna be calling. But by raising, I want to force opponents to reshuffle. King drag suited, ace 10 suited, or ace 8 suited, you know. So like here from the small black can easy redrum. Pretty wide against me here. I still have race folds. I don't I don't care. Like it's just the money goes in here. So hand is way too strong for this deck stack depth. But if you have like most a lot of recreationals and players who are not so aggressive, you just open jam because it hurts if you know they just flat call, let's say I know Sam is not gonna flat 7-8 suited here. Right. This guy is pretty short. Most flops, the money goes in anyway. Niklas is a bit dangerous, um, like on these textures, right? But I can just put him all in here and uh, with all the backdoors we have. Alright, unlucky. Okay. Unlucky. So, like, this we would have avoided this by jamming, but. He can also call it like jack five suited right with this deck size. So it's it's all about a matter of like what happens in the long term. In the long term, I, it's also not a hand I would review. Ah, oh, should I open it? Should I, it's it's whatever. Like uh, if he folds, I'm calling. There's too much dead money in the middle. We're flipping against a lot of hands. Heh. <laughs> Uh, eight six off in the ten k. We call with two big blinds. It's good that we get a heads. Oh, okay, that is unfortunate. Seven, 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 ten, seven, ten. Boom! I really hope. I mean, this is not gonna get go in. That maybe they don't see that I'm auto in. If he has like jack dues off and he folds, it would be great. You never know. All right, all right, we got something. We got something. We are ahead. We haven't crushed. Oh, sad. Boom. Got a hand in the ten k. Maybe come back. Come nine, just end at nine. Oh, sweaty Reno. Come back, let's go. Let's go, Aces. Wow, just a flash draw. Nice. Come back, Rino. 
Uh, here delay betting on the turn. If the diamonds break, I think I can bluff the river against like ace 10 diamonds and all these kind of fans. Uh, yep. Port and pot. I go a bit bigger to gain some 40 wins like pocket eights. Maybe that floated or ace four, but we just have a mandatory bluff. We also protect ourselves getting bluff from jack tens and king jacks. I don't think he has a queen, so it's already good. Maybe he considers value jamming king queen um, or no, he doesn't have ace queen. Let's go. Whoo! Big one. <laughs> All right, good luck. Here's ace, here's ace. Here's ace. Nice, big pot in the 10k. Okay, I have to do a bit of uh, math mathematics here. Um, let's see. So this bounty is 4k, 16, 160k. It's 10 big blinds, this bounty. I think he will also overcall. So I will call and then we just run it three way. But if he folds, that's huge. Like maybe he does a mistake. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. Uh, that's huge for us. That's massive running this heads up. Um, but yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah, I mean, his bounty is worth 10 big blinds. So I think we just, I mean, if we have something like ace fourth, we can call. But I don't think we can fold this to the king there. So that was massive for EV. I mean, maybe even if he's ace 10 off, I'm very surprised. Oh, nice. Not so nice. Five. Just give the ace. Just. Everyone fought it, so lots of ace in the mix. Uh, unlucky. GG. I mean, 4K. We're even ahead. We're ahead. Let's go. Imagine ASI and you have 60 or 70% on the flop. Oh, button open jam would be so sexy. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Oh my God, I feel so bad for him. Or oh, maybe I don't. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, the poker gods don't want me to win this bounty. <laughs> uh, 10k, all right. I think calling is the best play. We can still forward if like jamming is too much, I think. Nine. Oh no, nine is good. Right. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate because we have these bigger stacks behind us. Now they can uh, apply quite some pressure. I'm definitely going to call in here, even if he calls. GG. Give me the nine on the re he va ba 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 boom. Very oti ba 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 ba. Thanks for the raid, bro. 
Snowboy gems, less than 10 bigs, ace check off. I, I don't think I see, I don't see myself holding. Palakos, three bets. I'm probably also just sending it. Then it is what it is. We are, we're playing for the final table here, chat. We're playing for the final table. If he jumps, yeah, all right. good luck us. Good luck us, 400k in the middle. He's definitely taking his bots very wide. I mean, we could call, but call 180k. Yeah, that's also fine. I think I'm gonna call. <clears throat> the problem though with Ace Jack, I actually, is that all of his king eyes, you know, is gonna have um, six free outs. He's not really bluff three with like Jack five off. Hmm. I'm not sure if he three bets ace queen. The, the thing is, the queen could be pretty good if he has ace king. Um, we have all the king jack suited. We have all the ace tens. I think I want a value bet small in case he has kings. Uh, I mean, the thing is, if we check back and he bets big, I think if he has ace king now. Ace Queen, we actually lose very little. Wow. Okay, good that I didn't jam. Because now, let's say if we check back and he bets half pot or two thirds, it's gonna be fucking disgusting. <laughs> Look at his shit face. The thing is, I can now incite him. Like, nobody knows, am I inciting my own pick or am I inciting him as a player? I can say, look at this piece of shit. <laughs> well played, Smille. <laughs> I can say, what an idiot. And nobody can say anything. I'm not inciting him. I'm inciting myself. So you better be careful. If you put my, uh, if you take my picture as an avatar. Okay, I'm back. Uh, at least my time bank went on, that's good. So I don't think I missed a hand. That's good, that the eyes are gems. Uh, eight ball, six jack. Eight only. All right, GG. And we're down to this one. 18 left, final two tables. Yeah, this is already for months that I didn't see. I usually, I really don't pay it. I, I mean, I've been playing the entire day with him but i didn't see it we just keep calling especially the flush was actually good because he knows we're gonna have four five clubs six five clubs all these hands and he's good enough to value jam I'm like all right <laughs> checked and suited against the button open we can jam but I just want to fold out the king highs that would float against a smaller sizing. We can still bluff some rivers. I think he also often like 8, 9, 6, 7, these hands, they block. And I, if he has king 3 in diamonds, I want to fold these hands. So we go big. We have all the queen x. Let's go. 2 million. Uh, if he limps, this hand is definitely strong enough to go broke blind versus blind. So we raise, especially when he's a 2k bounty. We can gamble a bit here. Gamble member. Gamble member. All right. Good luck, us. That is very unfortunate. Where he probably jams any ace. Uh... 
the RT10. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, we can come back. We already did it once. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, not three way. I'm going to smoke this guy. Bye bye, ciao ciao. bit of profit today 25k it's all right we take it i hope you guys enjoyed the great stream enough for today i hope you guys had fun i had to bet good night everyone choose <laughs>